impress your friends with an amazing meal, this is how you do it. Buy yourself a big package of chicken thighs. This one costs $6.26 for the natural chicken thighs. You usually get around 10. So we have 10 different chicken thighs here. We're gonna make some fancy marinades. We've already made this one with barbecue. We have uh, basically steak rub, which is you know all the different little chunks of garlic and stuff like that, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of barbecue sauce, about two tablespoons of any kind of vinegar. We use an apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, we got it right here, and about a cup of water. So you take that, mix all the ingredients together. Use warm water to mix the ingredients together first. Once you get that all mixed together, then you can put your chicken thighs in there in a gallon Ziploc, bust out all the air, close it over and set it in the fridge. And this is going to take usually a day or two to marinate and it'll be amazing. Then you're just gonna bake it on top of any, like a layer of veggies if you wanna do it in a pan like that or you can just- Now we're gonna make our Italian style seasoning. So really all it is is pizza seasoning. That's how we do it. So just pizza seasoning and buy in the bins at Winco. That's where we got this. Take your pizza seasoning, two tablespoons in the bag, one gallon Ziploc. We're gonna do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're gonna do about a cup of warm water, mix all the seasons together, add two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Then you're gonna take and just dash it with salt, a tiny bit more than you might use normally, so like half a teaspoon or so. Then take it, add your chicken thighs, put your chicken thighs in there, And we're going to mix it all together. Seal it up. Need a little bit of air space. Dry about most of that. Wrap it up. Okay, now once you have it like this, I like to mix it up. And what you're kind of trying to do is force the seasoning underneath the skin. So you'll be able to see it as I'm doing it, but just I'm just gonna force some of that seasoning under the skin. And that's gonna make it turn out amazing. So just keep working on forcing the seasoning to be everywhere, even under the skin a little bit. Once I feel pretty confident that I've got it in there as much as it can go. Take it, lump it all down into the bottom. roll it over on itself, and I'm gonna set it in the fridge for two days. And we're gonna take it out, you can put it over a pan of veggies if you'd like, or you can just put, cook it by itself, but every time it's gonna be amazing. So now we're gonna brine some chicken with a secret brine. One half cup of salt, we're gonna use some sea salt, it doesn't matter if it dissolves. We're gonna use one carton, we're using organic, but it doesn't really matter, chicken broth. Kind of like cooking an animal in its own blood. But okay, here we go. Then we're going to use one cup of Ryan's Honey Crisp Apple Cider. And a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm just doing this by sight, not really going to be perfect. Plus, we're gonna add our smoke rub, which is just onion, a bunch of other awesome ingredients. Proprietary blend, shake it around a little bit. And we're gonna fill it the rest of it with cold water just until the chicken's fully submerged in water. We're gonna shake it up a little bit more, mix it around a little bit until everything's kind of mixed together. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge for three days. And then we're going to be sticking these in the smoker. We have it all mixed up with water. I just kind of do the washing machine thing to get all the seasons and ingredients mixed together. And then we'll use a little bit of saran wrap over the top to seal it all in. And this is just to keep 
deep and then wanted the debris from falling in there, but we're gonna put it in our outside fridge. And three days from now, we'll stick around the smoker.